All right, do you think the vegans will agree to this? So this is interesting. So as you guys remember, uh, a couple days ago, uh, about a week ago, I guess now, uh, a study uh, case series on inflammatory bowel disease was published, and it shows that a carnivore diet can be extremely effective for people suffering from uh, things like Crohn's disease and also colitis. The study is, is this one here. Uh, I'll link that in the description for you guys to read and share. Um, but, you know, my hope is that that will result in an actual intervention trial so we can see uh, how effective this might be for the general population suffering from Crohn's disease. Is, is it going to affect 10% of the people or 50% of the people or 90% of the people in a positive way? We don't know that for sure until we do the intervention trials. And, and, and aside from that, we should do a comparator group. And um, hopefully, my, my again, one of the hopes is we can get something like a vegan uh, arm so that we can have a vegan versus carnivore interventional randomized control trial uh, that would sort of help to answer some of those questions. Because a lot of people say, well, the only reason carnivore works is because you are eliminating ultra processed food and, 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 and so on and so forth. And you can get the same results on a whole food plant based diet, which many of the people on a whole food plant plant based diet would contend. And I think uh, so in my view, the best way to do this study would be to have researchers that are you know, sort of vegan or pro-vegan, researchers that are pro-low-carb keto and carnivore come together, help design a trial, and then, you know, fund it. Both sides fund it so there's no conflicts of interest when it comes to the funding. And, and I know that we've got the people on the low-carb side that are willing to do the research and also help to, to fund this. Uh, in the background, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I see this stuff happening because I'm, I'm sort of involved in some of this. But I would like to see if, if can we get vegans that will step up. And because they say it's all about the science, or is it maybe just ideology? I don't know. Uh, so let me see your thoughts. You know, one, do you think vegans will agree to this? Do you think any vegans would step up to the plate in, in, in good faith and, and actually want to know science and help to, num number one, a fund and also design and administer a study like this? You know, Chris Gardner at Stanford, I mean, there's others, Dr. Garth Davis has intimated that he might be willing to participate in something like this. And so if any of you vegans are out there are willing to help with the study and also to help fund it, because, you know, the funding, you know, if we, if we just fund it, or if it's funded by a low carb set, the vegans will complain that oh, it wasn't there was there was a conflict of interest. So it should be funded equally from both sides. It should be designed equally from both sides, and a non-biased observer should be blinded to the results and should be analyzed. And that's, that's the best way I think the study could go forward. So let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think it'll happen? Do you think the vegans will be willing to do this, or do you think they'll make excuses as to why they won't do that? Anyway, guys, let me know what you think.